how can we choose dharma over our own lower needs, lower um, consciousness over ourselves? So if we could maybe just uh, you know dive straight in from there. What is dharma to begin with? Why do we need it? Okay. So now the word dharma is famously multivalent. It has many different meanings. So the commonly known meanings are dharma is religion. Like we have Hindu dharma, we have various Christian dharma. That is one way in which the word is used. Which is also one valid usage, but that is not the only usage. Another word of meaning of dharma is duty. That this is my dharma. So parents take care of the children. When children, uh, children grow up, they, they have their dharma to take care of their parents. Like that, that could be a dharma. Dharma can refer to duty. Uh, in the Bhagavad Gita, when Krishna asks, Pruchami Tvam Dharma Sammudha Cheta, I want to know what is my dharma, I am bewildered. He is basically asking, what is the right thing to do? So, you could say dharma can also be translated as the right thing to do. It could be. Mm -hmm. Now, going deeper, we want to say, dharma, if it comes from the root dri, dri means to sustain. So, dharma is the activity which sustains us. The activity that enables us to be who we are. So in that right. sense, we don't really choose dharma over ourselves. It is rather by choosing mm -hmm. dharma, we become ourselves. We become wow. the fullest manifestation of who we are by dharma. So dharma is not a set of religious rituals and it's certainly not a set of don't do this and don't do that and don't do this. So yes, there are some pleasures mm -hmm. which we do need to abstain from. But then that is required for any activity in life. If there's an athlete, the athletes, they have to have a strict regimen, they, they regulate their diet, they do so much discipline so that they can be good athletes. So in, in, our, in any field to become something worthwhile, there are some things we abstain from. But what dharma okay. is about is that so I want to sacrifice. So I'll just introduce one concept. So as I said the word dharma has many meanings. The Bhagavad Gita talks about three modes. There is Sattva, mm -hmm. Rajas and Tamas. Goodness, passion and ignorance. So, can, goodness can be associated with clarity. Hmm? And passion with energy. And ignorance with apathy. Mm, apathy so, right. apathy, I don't care about anything. Mm. Apathy, energy and clarity. Broadly speaking. Right. So... One way to understand these three modes is that you can say some people make things happen, some people watch things happen, and some people wonder what happened. Wonder mm. what happened. So mm. that's goodness, passion, and ignorance for you. Right. So broadly, we could say dharma in this context is what? That where sattva guides and regulates rajas and tamas. Sattva mm -hmm. regulates and guides Rajas and Tamas. So we have clarity and then we direct our energy. And right. you know, apathy is not always a bad thing. Because if we, are, if we start getting affected by everything that happens around us, we will be overwhelmed. To some extent, we have to turn mm -hmm. off. We have to tune off. Mm -hmm. For example, sleeping. You know, if we kept being worried about all the th things that could go wrong in our life, we will not be able to sleep. So even mm. the tamoguna is not a bad thing. If there mm. were no tamoguna, we would not be able to sleep. To some extent, when we go mm. to sleep, we are apathetic about what is happening around us. And that right. is required. But the key is, what is in dominating? Is it apathy that is dominating and defining a person? Is it simply energy? Or is it clarity? So dharma mm. is that situation when, when energy and apathy are guided by clarity. Okay, this is what I'm going to focus on, and this is what I'm not going to focus on. So, so wow. then what this means is, dharma is those set of activities that help us, those set of activities that help clarity to become stronger, and then guide energy and apathy accordingly. So, this is wow. one more meaning of dharma. Now, you could go at a higher level, dharma culminates in bhakti. So, dharma at one level is being who we are. Hmm. But at our core, we are also spiritual beings and we are parts of the supreme spiritual being. So we could say the paradharma, that the culmination, the summit of dharma, the Srimad Bhagavatam says is bhakti. So hmm. it says, it says dharma, that's the multi-level meaning. And 
at a operational level at the level we, we, we are discussing today is that say if a person is attacked a basic right of all living beings is to live to survive and mm -hmm. to practice what they believe so if that is not being allowed mm -hmm. that is also dharma being violated so in one mm -hmm. sense dharma is a very universal concept it is not a sectarian concept at all it is it talks about right. essential our essential nature and how we can live in harmony with that